For more than five decades, 80-year-old John Little has been a self-taught blacksmith in rural Nova Scotia, with his wife Nancy by his side. They have worked as a team in this shop, all while raising three daughters. We've been within 200 feet of each other, basically, for 52 years, seven days a week. Nancy just says, well, nobody got hurt. <laughs> we absolutely depend on each other. Now that we're, I don't know, you call it retired, um, we do more together, which is great. The duo heat up pieces of scrap metal to 2,000 degrees, shaping and molding steel and iron to whatever is required. Little admits it's this sound and brute force that got him hooked in the first place. I wanted to make a shovel to get the ashes out of my wood stove, and I heated it up, and I hit it with a carpenter's hammer, and it moved, and that was it. I just knew that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. The couple started out making boat anchors and household structures for neighbours before embarking down a more artistic path. And I got interested in more decorative and sculptural things, and then the biggest craziness was getting involved in making sound. He would go on to experiment with what he calls musical contraptions for various exhibits and composers. Little's art pieces can also be found at Halifax's waterfront. I wouldn't say he was one of the pioneers uh, uh, in the sense of being one of the early artist blacksmiths, but he certainly took it places I think that other people never did. His pace has slowed over the years. Nancy now applies the steady hand in the fury of shaping metal to art. It's a gentle application of extreme violence, <laughs> but it has to be applied gently. A marriage forged over 50 years in fire and iron. Chris Nachkate, CTV News, East Dover, Nova Scotia.